Hey everyone, and welcome to Hard Gainers episode 8. As you can see here, me and my buddies are just playing some indoor basketball on the new hoop we got, and I am just dominating. I have yet to be defeated. But getting into the workout, today is arm day. So we're hitting biceps, triceps, and forearms. Here you can see me doing a tricep push down with the straight bar. And today I kind of varied the workout up. I did some sets heavy and some sets lighter, but I included a drop set for two sets at the end of each workout. I love those drop sets, guys. They just pump the blood into the muscle. I love them. So here I'm doing some seated curls, seated dumbbell curls, and you can tell the form is a little bit off. I'm not extremely worried about it because again, here you'll see that I'm doing a drop set with 15s with much better form. I'm really trying to work on pulling all the way to the top and getting that peak on the bicep. Moving on to the next workout, it's actually not a favorite of mine, is the Skull Crusher. Again, four sets, seven to 10 reps. And honestly, I don't know if my form is off or what, but I just don't feel those that much. And here is a reverse grip tricep pull down, single arm, and I'm doing them on the cables. Give these a try, I love this exercise. You might have to go a little bit lighter because it is gonna work on your forearms as well. So give these a try, they are awesome. And that's just me flexing, doing weird stuff. <laughs> and then I went into one of the little studio rooms and I started to do a burnout of reverse grip curls. So I started off with three tens on each side for 10 to 12 reps, then moved to two tens on each side for 10 to 12 reps, and then moved to one 10 on each side for 10 to 12 reps. And that would be one set. And I repeated that three times. So really burning out the forearms as well as the biceps. And I don't know if you noticed, but the less weight that I put on the bar, the closer my hands got on the bar as well. And that's really gonna crush those forearms. Especially if you do the, the overhand grip. You don't want your thumbs under the bar, you want them over. And then here's just me flexing again. <laughs> what up? Gym done. Time to go get some food. Ah. What up, Park? There it is. So, I didn't actually plan on getting a cheat meal, but now I kind of want one. Probably get some steak and shake. It's about 10, 15. I forgot, I actually gotta finish my post-workout shake. Let me down that really quick. Ah, I'm gone. All right, now it's time to get some food. Got it. I'm one happy camper. I'll show you. So, I got the cookies and cream shake, my favorite, and then, oh. I don't think you'll be able to see it, and you can't smell it, but it smells delicious. There is, ooh, you can't really see it, there's just a plethora, a plethora of goodness in this bag. I'll show it to you when I get home. Stick around. Back at the apartment, like I said before, I'm going to eat my steak and shake. I want to weigh myself really quick, so let me strip down, weigh myself, show you some weight, and eat. One eighty two point eight. I like that number, but I bet you it's gonna go down in the morning when I weigh myself again Just because my weight fluctuates like that. I'm sure yours does as well The weight at night versus the weight in the morning on an empty stomach is gonna be different mine typically fluctuates around two to three 
sometimes four pounds, it really just depends. The goal is 190 before I start cutting, and it's a steady 190. So I don't wanna just see 190 on the scale, I want to see 190 on the scale for about a week, steady. That is the goal. Here's what I got. So I got a fry, which they're kind of all over the place. Then I got two of the original doubles. And I like my burgers with lettuce, onion, pickle, mayo. I think they have mayo. Mustard and ketchup. That is my preference for burgers. And I believe that has it all on it. And this stuff is really cheap. I paid like $11 for the two burgers the fries and oops almost forgot the cookies and cream shake and i gotta give a shout out to my my friends over at steak and shake because they made this shake delicious so steak and shake on montgomery in cincinnati ohio great job still holding strong it's like 20 minutes later and again this cheat meal was not planned it's bulking season. I am missing the abs a little bit, but they're still there. They're just hidden under a little layer of fluff. I'm fine with that. Like I said, cutting season is coming and those abs will be back in no time. I'm gonna give myself about a month to cut. It's not gonna take long for me to do it. Again, I know my body very well. You guys might be asking, you know, what meal plan should I use to cut? That's a question I actually get a lot, is what meal plan should I use to cut? What meal plan should I use to gain weight? Well, you really just gotta take a look at your body. That's what it's about is, does the 4,000 calorie meal plan that I have work for you? If it is working and you're gaining weight, then keep following that if you wanna continually bulk. If you're ready to cut, I will most likely follow the 3,500 calorie plan. Just cutting out a few things and adding in cardio, I will start to shred weight like crazy shred that fat like crazy so it doesn't take me long again and it's just because i know my body so and one thing i actually recommended to my roommate was he was starting to cut and i looked at we kind of talked about his diet and i was like oh you know are you doing dairy he said yes i said well just remove the milk like just remove the milk out of your diet because he was doing about two eight ounce glasses a day and you know, most people are like, oh, well, milk is so good for you. It's high in protein. Kind of. It's not that high in protein. I think it's only 8 grams. But then you got to look at the carbs and the sugars. It's 12 grams of carbs and 12 grams of sugar. So he was having two 8-ounce glasses a day of that. And those add up. Those calories, those carbs, that extra sugar, that adds up when you're trying to cut. So if you're doing dairy, maybe think about cutting that out because it also bloats you a little bit. At least it does for me. I do almond milk, as most of you know, because my body doesn't handle the lactose, I think, in the milk. I think that's what it is. I bloat really bad from milk, so I just don't do it anymore. I used to, but now I don't. I know my body, and it doesn't like milk. I feel like I've talked too much, though. I'm getting delirious, so I'll tune you guys back in the morning. I don't think I'm going to have another meal tonight. I could potentially eat some cottage cheese, but I don't know if that's going to happen. If I do, I will tune you in. And if I don't, I'll see you in the morning. But dang it. It's too loud. Too loud. Oh, good morning. Ah. Uh. Uh. Mm. What up? Good morning. It's about eight in the morning. Starting the morning off with a shake, like normal. So I have the gold standard way, and I'm gonna mix it with almond milk. I only have about six ounces of this left, so it'll have to do, but normally it's eight ounces. But it's closer to eight than I thought. It's about seven ounces. I'm gonna grab a scoop of my whey. And 
since it's Saturday, yesterday was Friday, obviously then, today is Saturday morning, I will most likely make a little bit different of a breakfast than the oatmeal. Maybe I'll have a bagel and some eggs in a little bit. Once I'm done with this shake. So the shake I'm taking right now, and then in about a half hour, 45 minutes, I'll start to actually make breakfast. What I planned on making for breakfast today was two eggs, three egg whites. So since I'm only doing two eggs, I'm also going to do some smoked sausage, just a real little bit, probably only one serving, which I usually do more than one serving, but cut back on a little bit of the fat because I had a decent amount of fat last night for that cheat meal. So I don't want to do too, too much this morning. So again, I'm only going to do about one serving, which is two ounces. Then I will do an everything bagel with some sour cream. That's not sour cream. <laughs> cream cheese, fourth fat, or third less fat. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I want some variety. So I'm also going to do some oatmeal. So I have some apple cinnamon oatmeal. I have an everything bagel. I have some sausage. I have eggs. I'm going to season the eggs with some garlic and sea salt. And some, there we go, black pepper. Okay, so I got the cutting board. Let's go my pan. I'm gonna turn the stove right now to a medium high heat, which is about a six or a seven. Then I'm gonna get some extra virgin olive oil. About a tablespoon. Set it over here. All right. Here is the sausage. So if you're wondering what two ounces of sausage looks like, that's about two ounces of sausage right there. Now the stove's hot. I'm gonna add the sausage. Sorry about that. Camera died. So I ended up making a majority of the food. So I have the sausage. I have the bagel, the everything bagel with some cream cheese, and I have the oatmeal, and now I'm about to do the eggs. So the stove is still on, or I shut the stove off and I turned it back on, and it's at about five. Let me show you how I make the eggs. So I'm just gonna start off by just doing the two eggs. All right, so now I got the two eggs. So getting the egg whites out of these is a little bit trickier. So let me show you how I do that. So I got the egg, I'm gonna crack it. And I gotta use two hands. So I'm just holding it and I got the little yolk sitting in this cap and there, and then I'm gonna swish it back and forth. Voila, just the yolk. Let's repeat it. and do it again. All right, then I'm just gonna mix these up a little bit. That's gonna cook for about three minutes. Here is breakfast. 
I have the one packet of apple cinnamon oatmeal, the everything bagel with cream cheese, sausage with ketchup, and two eggs and three egg whites. Okay, so I just finished up a leg workout, had my shake, I'm about to eat a post-workout meal, but before I do, I'm gonna let the shake settle, and I'm gonna do a little bit of planning for some future videos and vlogs that I plan on getting started this weekend today, so I'm about to do some planning for it. Like I said, I got this whiteboard, and I find it's easy if I just write it out, get a rough draft, some working titles in, some of the content I wanna talk about, in bullet points, and then go in and rework it as I hit each video. So, right now, I'm about to do some planning, and I think I'm a little stuffed up. I probably sound a little stuffed up. I think I have a little cold, but let's get to planning some of these videos. And that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please leave comments about what you thought. I always try to make these videos better. Also, let me know if you guys thought that the audio as well as the video is better because I'm using new equipment. But please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.